All right, guys, I'm back with another reaction review. This time we are doing some metal, like power metal. I'm talking Beast in Black. They are the Finnish Greek group that have been fulfilling me for the past few years with their wonderful music um, and crazy vocals. I finally got the chance to see them at Sweden Rock 2019. <sighs> What an incredible live show. It sucks for the USA that their tour got canceled because of all the stuff with COVID going on because I know they have such a huge fan base here that have been dying to see them. <laughs> and here I am, I have seen them and it was so wonderful. So I'm super excited because the band has a new album. It is called Dark Connection coming out October 29th via Nuclear Blast Records and I want to check out this video that they put out uh, beginning of the month. It's called Moonlight Rendezvous. And I didn't get a chance to look at it because I did some vacationing, went out and did some hiking and stuff. So I kind of left it on my back burner to look at. But I'm going to remedy that right now because woo, I just love their music. It's so much fun. And for those of you who don't know Beast in Black, I think you're going to be blown away by vocals. If it's anything like previous albums and the highs of music that you're going to get from this band. Um, yeah. I'm not going to share a whole lot about Beast in Black. They've got, you know, this is their third album. They just make phenomenal music and it's such a great live experience. You know, I first came to them with their song Frozen and didn't know if it was a male or female vocalist because the versatility in the vocals, it literally blew me away when I got a chance to watch the video and not just hear the single. Wow. That's all I got to say, but they are just absolutely amazing on stage. They are so much energy and fun. Yeah, I, I that's one show I think after I got done shooting the show and I would watch from the festival area. I didn't even leave to put my cameras down. I just left them hooked to me and I was jumping up and down screaming and singing. And I think people thought I had an out of body experience and that I had lost my mind because this is a band I really dig. So I want to see what the new album is going to hold for us a little bit with this new single. Um, join me in watching this. It's, again, Midnight Rendezvous. Before we head into that, if you are new to my channel and you've not subscribed yet, please click below on the subscribe button to give me some support here. And if you want to be notified when things are coming up, hit the bell button and then you'll be notified as new content comes on here. We don't just do reaction reviews. I also do interviews and we as I get back out to shows, I'll have more live videos and also just more experiences coming up, live interviews and things. So here we go. Beast in Black. Oh, I'm excited. Oh. Ooh, a binary code. That's kind of cool. Ooh, it's very scientific.
All right. Let's take a bite out of this um, from the beginning. Uh, first off, Beast in Black, don't make a video where you're killing yourselves off because that's not okay. We need you. We absolutely need you. Uh, but I have to say, this whole directing of this video was such a passive aggressive abusive relationship going on here. Like, yuck. <laughs> that the whole visual feel of that part of it, the yuck. Like, if you're reading the backside, it's like it's clear this gal is like in love with this guy or whatever, and the guy must love her or something. But it's so passive aggressive abusive that it's like one minute he's watching her die and he's enjoying it, and the next she's stabbing one of the guys in Beast in Black, and the next it's putting a knife to his throat and then them kissing that's such a horrible horrible way to have a visual for any type of like relationship no 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 if you are somebody young watching a video like this that is not what relationships are supposed to be remember this is just a music video don't think that that's how you should be treating people with that said it was a little funky I wasn't really sure what to expect. And that's the thing that I've learned with Beast in Black. You never know what you're going to get album to album because either they're going to come out with something like just riftastic or they're going to come out with something a little more abstract and kind of more of like a poppy feel, which is this definitely was more mellow, more of a poppy synthy feel, you know, and the vocals are very mellow, uh, the highs, the soft, high vulnerables, and then a little more in the alto range. And then just that. I don't know, like a few highs and lows in here. And I'm hoping that the album has a few bangers in it too, like the big like blasting out for, cause that's like songs like Crazy Mad Insane from their other albums. Those things like those tracks, like the really high, like Frozen has that high thing to it. Like, and it just got the tempo. That's the things that I really love about Beast of Black. But I like that they also aren't afraid to get outside of that. With that said, though, this was different. Um, it's like their little sci-fi story, their own little production going on here. But man, did that take me on a roller coaster because I'm like watching as each member of the band is slain. No, stop. Don't do that. You can't take Beast and Black away from us. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't. Please don't do that. Please no more visuals like that. I don't want to think about Beast and Black disappearing off the face of the earth. So let's not do that anymore. But, you know, I mean, it was a great production, uh, very polished. It had something in there that like, you know, if you're going to think back in the days of MTV, a video, an actual video that you could actually watch. It's not just a lyric video, but like an actual music video. I appreciate these. I appreciate music videos so much because it gives you that step away from the everyday normal. And that's what music is supposed to make you feel things and use your imagination and that kind of that outer body experience kind of thing. When you listen to music, that's how I hear it. It's so out of this world for me so i really i i kind of on the fence on this moonlight rendezvous one like it's a good track but i would have liked to seen maybe a little more power to it but who knows what the rest of the album has in it um i know uh i'll find out because i've got actually i'm going to be reviewing that for hard rock hell magazine so i'll be doing that in the next few days here uh ahead of their release um so yeah if you want to if you want to find out my thoughts on that guys when that next edition of hard rock hell magazine comes out in the uk uh, in the next few months here you will be able to see what i think because our uh yeah uh we'll be getting that out to press um fairly soon so you don't just see me here. You can see me in other places as well. But yeah, I'm going to be digging into this whole album. So I'll have my answer really soon on this. But what did you think? Beast in Black. Have you ever seen them before? Are you familiar with them? What's your favorite album? What are your favorite singles? Who do you like the most in the band? Like, are you the guitar kind of person? Are you the drums? Are you the vocals? Because I tell you what, this band is like such so much stuff going on. It's so cool. Um, yeah, just chime in and let me know. What's the fandom around Beast in Black within my viewing community? I'd love to hear what your thoughts on them are. And if you were at the Sweden Rock Show in 2019, standing around the area I was in, enjoying them, what did you think? I mean, like, I know the crowd was going bananas when we were sitting there watching the show. So let me know what you think about the band. And guys, as always, if there's something you think that I need to be reacting to or you've got something you really want to just kind of get out there, if there's a band out there in the world that we need to know about that you think needs more eyes on them or just simply you want a reaction to something, chime off in the comments below. I will look at them and if I can squeeze them in, I will. You know, what you got? 
give it to me. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next review.